All right, the time has come. This is what we have all been waiting for in the Freaks and Guilds project. Took a little bit of a nap while we were waiting for this L2 system to come out, but it's out and now it is go time. One of the best built p to e projects, you definitely want to get in and start playing early. And now the L2 is out, it's time to jump in, bash some freaks, and stack some freak bucks. Also, side note, for whoever portals their freaks and celestials over in the first three days of L2 opening up, the team will actually airdrop Matic or Polygon to your uh, wallet so that you can play on them. So big shout out and thanks to the FNG team for that. But before we jump in, the L2 system is on Polygon, so you might not have that set up on your MetaMask account. I'm going to show you how to do it really quick and easily. I'll even leave a link below to the official website so that you can get this information. But it's just copy and paste and we'll be done in a minute. After that, I'm going to show you how to add the freak bucks to your wallet so that you can see it when you collect it on the Polygon network. And then after that, I'll show you how to transfer or portal your freaks and celestials over to the L2 and you can start playing literally within just a few minutes. Also, I'm going to show you how to save a bit of gas on your transfer. It won't be immediate, but you can set the gas price so that you can save a good chunk of Ethereum on transferring. All right. So first thing you want to do on your MetaMask account, this is just a blank MetaMask account I have set up so that I could show you uh, how to set up Polygon. Okay, so whatever your MetaMask account looks like, if you look up here, you'll probably see the Ethereum mainnet. All right. And if you click on the actual like the drop down, you might only see that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add network. We need to add the Polygon network. Now, this screen should pop up. And if you don't know what to put here, no worries, I got you. This link right here will be in the description below so that you can just copy and paste. So once you go to this page, just scroll down and you will see, and this is a little deceiving. This is a picture, so don't try to copy that. You'll see the stuff that you need to uh, copy and move over in order in these little code blocks. So this little gray code block, we want Polygon mainnet. I'm gonna copy that. Here's the network name. And then the URL right here, RPC, I'm gonna put that right there. And then the chain ID is going to be 137 in chain ID. And there's the Matic, which is the actual currency. Currency symbol is Matic. And then the block explorer URL is gonna be this one right here. So we'll just copy that, paste that there, save and Boom, congratulations, you now have the Polygon mainnet in your dropdown. So if we come back over here, when we click on MetaMask, you should be able to see that. Now, big note, when you're swapping and transferring and you're playing on L2, anytime you go back to, say, for example, OpenSea, or you want to go back to, you know, the Freaks and Guilds app and move things from Ethereum, you do need to switch this back. So you'll have to switch this from Ethereum, and then when you switch it to Polygon, if you notice that the background actually like adjusts so that's all you have to do when you're hunting and you want to mess with your uh l2 freaks set this to polygon and you'll see all of your freaks and celestials and stuff like that that you can stake you can collect when you want to move back to ethereum you would just go to the portal and you could just portal them bridge them back to mainnet right so you see that but when we switch this to ethereum Go ahead and do that and boom this will now change bridge to polygon Ta -da. all right next thing we need to do we need to go back to polygon and we need to add freak bucks in polygon okay so we're going to go ahead and move to polygon and then you're going to see right here you don't see uh freak bucks is not on the list so we're going to import a token i'm going to leave this contract address in the description below as well you can just copy this and put this in here but what you will see is you'll see the token symbol fill out by itself. There's FBX and the 18 decimal. All right, so we'll just go ahead and add custom import. And now when you will go to your Polygon mainnet, you will see freak bucks. All right, these are the freak bucks that are on the Polygon network. When you collect them from L2, they'll show up here and then you could transfer them right here. Say so you have 10,000, you could send them 10,000. You hit confirm and then it will send that over to your ethereum mainnet you will want to have them plugged in on mainnet as well most of us already have the freak bucks there um, if you don't it's the same thing just go get the contract address add the custom token and there you go you have them on ethereum all right so to portal all you got to do is make sure that you are on the mainnet ethereum mainnet right here um, i don't keep a whole lot right here in this account 
but I've got a bunch of freaks on it. So what I can do is we can come through here and just add all of our freaks up to 25, okay? So bear in mind, I've got a bunch more staked. I'm gonna leave them staked until there's another function that allows me to transfer from being staked straight onto the L2. I believe it's gonna come out in a couple days. Um, if you don't have, like I've got over 50 freaks that are staked. If you just have a handful, absolutely just go ahead and unstake them, transfer them over to Polygon and have a good time with it. Whereas, you know, uh, some of us that have a lot more than, you know, 10, 20, 30 of them, um, it could get really expensive really quick to move stuff. So, and then we'll go ahead and say, I'm gonna move some Celestials. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a bunch of random ones. Here's all of my Celestials. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna send, um, that's gonna be 14 or 15. So it's gonna be, okay, so 14 uh, Freaks and then 11 Celestials. So I would say confirm, I wanna send those over. Now don't click confirm right away. It's going to come up right here and it's gonna say, hey, here's your estimated gas. This is how much it's gonna cost you if you did it right now, okay? But what I wanna do is I wanna go and I wanna say edit. And then what I'm gonna do is advanced options. So right here, it's gonna charge me basically 52 GUE or gas units, right? Um, now almost 53 to make this transaction, okay? But what you could do is you can come in here and you could set this for say 30 or even 35. So instead of being what it is right now, it's almost 53. Let me change that to five three. So instead of $280, if you set that to 35, uh, you'd be saving like $80 in gas. Now, when you do this, it's going to tell you that it's not going to work with the uh, network conditions and it could take up to or more than 24 hours for it to go through. Okay, so when you do this, usually late at night when things are kind of like uh, down in the US, it will go through. If the gas dips down low enough, it will then process your transaction. Okay, so then you could hit save. If you had that amount of Ethereum, I don't have that amount of Ethereum in my wallet currently, so I can't click save, but you could save that and then you could hit confirm on the current gas right here. You'd hit confirm and boom, it would go through when gas is lower. So that's how you could save yourself on some gas. I'm just going to go ahead and hit reject. But then once you do that, this is now, uh, this is on mainnet. Remember, you would switch over to Polygon. Here's your Matic, okay? So if you got some Matic, you'd be able to see this, and then you would see like your freaks and everything. You go into the hunting grounds or the battlegrounds, which will be coming out soon, and you will be able to see them and stake them. If you hit stake, you'd be able to select them and move them over. But if I switch it to my Ethereum, you can see that this is where, boom, here's all of my freaks, all right? And I've got 200, and 15,000 freak bucks, not including the however many freaks and celestials I have in my wallet, right? So that's it. That's how you move some stuff over. I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe and I'll do another video with uh, strategies in the future. I'll see you in the next one.